When I was a BPN, it was the ENT teacher, Mr. Alfred Lim, who introduced me to rowing. Mr. Lim signed us up for a machine rowing competition that got me interested in the sport. And then I began to participate in competitive rowing and it was really tough. Even though I had to juggle my studies and my passion, my goal to qualify for the Olympics kept me going. To be honest, training for the Olympics was one of the toughest moments in my life. It was very taxing on me, mentally and physically. But after all the sacrifices I made, it paid off when I managed to qualify for the Olympics. I was very lucky to be given a lot of support, not only from my family and friends, but also from the government as well. It reminded me that what I was doing was not only for me, but for everyone in Singapore. Although I did not achieve a podium finish, I was the first Singaporean rower to represent the country in the Olympics and that was a big win for me. To me, education is just as important as sports. I can chase my dreams, but I always put education as a priority. Seeing my students train so hard and striving to achieve their dreams, it really reminded me of the times when I was in their shoes. It motivates me to further coach and hopefully inspire the younger generation to give them the help and encouragement I was given back then for my times as a BPN. Now looking back, I wouldn't want to change a thing and I would gladly go through everything again. I hope my story can inspire the future generation of Singaporean athletes to strive for the best and bring the country to greater heights. Back in primary five, I started playing basketball on the streets with my family just for fun. Even after being invited to join the Bukit Banjang school team in secondary four, I don't think I ever took it very seriously. However, it was only being selected for the national youth team and offered a DSA to Hua Chong that I realised that maybe I could play basketball at a high level. In JC, I was playing for three clubs at the same time. I was training up to 10 times a week. After fulfilling my national service commitments, I was offered an eight-month playing contract with the Singapore Slingers and I jumped straight into it. I played my first SEA Games at the age of 20 years old. Despite not winning anything, I felt very proud as it was the first time Singapore even qualified for the Games in 10 years. After that, I went on to represent Singapore in two more editions of SEA Games, clinching Singapore's first bronze medal in 34 years in the 27th edition of SEA Games held in Myanmar. However, due to a serious injury, I decided to stop playing professionally and focus on my education. When I graduated, I was offered a coaching job. It was a tough decision back then, but I decided to take a risk and continue pursuing this profession that I'm so passionate about. I would like to pass my experience not just to my juniors in BPGHS but to all aspiring young basketball players from the next generation to coach them and to help them achieve their dreams.